short speed to the city streets we began to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as a king so hey guys welcome back to my channel for tutorials so guys today i'll teach you new style of cg and vfx folding banner animation we using 4.1 version and second one guys i use fx add on okay see guys that's my simple animation and guys click on here that's my texture preview yeah it's good and guys click on here final render preview see guys that's my really cool folding banner animation like this see guys right okay so guys now i teach you how i create this type of effect so guys go to one file and create new com new and guys select all and press delete key so guys firstly go to on here that's my f spy add on and guys import your image so guys see that's my image so simple drag and drop like this yeah okay see guys that's my vanishing point so guys i show you my simple example see guys that's my z axis and guys that's my y axis so i use y and z so guys go to on here and see guys that's my vanishing point so firstly i use like a y and guys second one like a z right see guys that's my z axis on top so guys go to on here and guys that's my perspective view like this so guys click on here go to on here simple right and same select this second one and guys create shape like this and lastly guys that's my like a perspective yeah right see guys that's my simple vanishing points and guys now go to on here grid and use like a box yeah and guys go to on center like this yeah see guys that's my simple grid and guys now save your footage so guys go to on file and save and guys create like a name new cam enter yeah so guys go to on blender here and delete cube so guys go to on here file and import and use fx add on so guys i have file like this new cam check yeah see guys that's my file right see that's my vanishing point y axis and guys height is z1 right okay so guys select your camera here background image and opacity i like 100% yes and guys next one i take cube so guys increase cube height so guys go to on here actually like this yeah and edit mode so guys select face select this one and guys height increase like this and guys go to on top and same height increase yeah good right okay so guys select this face and guys change cube position like this and guys same on here select and position change like this yeah good see guys that my simple building right okay so guys now all is good and guys select your cube and rename like a building and guys duplicate this cube so press control c and v and guys you can hide first one select this one and guys go to on here guys wireframe check and guys go to on here edit mode select this front face and right click guys separate selection because i create banner so guys you can delete this extra part delete see guys that's my simple banner right okay so guys now go to on here set origin origin to geometry check good and guys next one i apply more segments so guys go to on edit mode select face and right click subdivision surface and second one guys you can apply loop cut so guys subdivision surface check and number of cut like a 60 Yeah, see guys, that's my segments, right? 
it's good okay so guys now go to our here building and guys rename like a banner and guys select our building so guys little bit front because that's overlapping so guys select your banner and see guys that's my x location change like a 1.1 yeah see guys that's my x location actually 1 point minus 1.01 yes good it's good okay so guys my object is finished and now guys i create rotation effect so guys for rotation go to on here edit and preferences and guys search and type extra curve see guys that's my extra curve and extra mesh check both check and guys close so guys go to on add and use this one curve this one archimedian check yes yeah it's good see guys that's my circle and guys now you can change radius like this is depending on your footage and guys see that's my grow increase actually change guys see that's my number of cuts increase like a six yeah and guys see that's my radius change guys radius this one grow okay so guys little bit change yeah little bit good and guys radius more change yeah much better and guys see that's my step that's my segments like a increase 40 is good for me simple circles and guys press one so guys go to one here and press three up like this here building height yes and guys press zero yeah okay all is good and now guys rotate this circle rotate so guys see that's my location change like a uh, x 90 right see guys that's my x 90 and guys now little bit up little bit yes see guys that's my circle apply on here top yes good okay so guys now select your circle edit mode and select this one and go to on here press one and little bit up like this create shape like this yeah simple right that's my simple shape okay so guys my shape is finished right that's my shape and guys now i apply this time curve effect so guys select your this one that's my plane and go to on here and use curve tool this one curve and see guys that's my curve object same and if for axis change like this yeah see guys that's my curve right it's looking simple okay so guys now you can change this position so guys select this one and guys i change position like this yeah more change yeah see guys that's my location transform so guys select i select plane that's my banner and z1 minus this one five guys create shape like this right and guys now all is good okay so guys this time i apply vertex group so guys go to on here again and guys you can delete this object and guys see that's my axis okay so guys now guys press 3 and guys go to on edit mode i select edit mode select vertex okay so guys select vertex not top vertex right don't select top vertex i select bottom vertex like this and guys click on here and vertex group check and actually check yeah that's it guys right because i create rotation effect so i select this one bottom vertex and guys now again select plane and guys go check right okay so guys now this time i apply curve actually cloth cloth tag and guys see that's my stiffness i like 10 
all 10 and guys go to on down shape and see guys that's my pin group same group check and collision and self collision check so guys preview check yeah see guys that's my simple cloth animation and preview check yes okay so guys now go to one catchy and guys bake all dynamic check okay so guys my baking is finished and now guys press zero so play yeah it's good okay so guys problem is that it's not access on here so guys don't worry so delete your bake or dynamic and guys now go to one building building check so guys this time select banner and guys go this time select both objects select both and press 7 top view and guys change position like this yeah and guys go to on here yes and guys go to on here like a little bit up up and guys go to on here down yeah that's it guys let's see guys that's my axis and guys little bit down more little bit little bit yeah that's it guys right see guys that's my axis is good and guys now one more time preview okay so guys now select this here and guys collision check so play yeah much better see guys that's my really collision effect it's looking good press zero and camera yes really good see guys that's my really cool folding cloth animation and guys next one you can apply soft effect so guys select your building actually banner and guys i apply subdivision surface and guys i apply two yeah it's good guys for more smoothness okay so guys my banner animation is finished and next one guys i apply texture for texture and guys go to on here banner and guys one more time bake all dynamic check okay so guys one more time preview yeah see guys that's my really cool folding cloth animation it's looking really good yes and guys next one i apply texture so guys go to on shading and guys camera check so guys select your banner and press ctrl t guys i will apply any texture i download some texture so guys select and open okay see guys that's not correct so guys press tab and that's my all selection all check and guys press u and unwrap check yeah so guys go to one layout actually one shading and guys edit mode to object yes okay so guys now i change uv mapping so guys mapping change like a 180 and guys little bit scale size yeah good yes great see guys that's my simple texture and roughness little bit change little bit like a 0 0.3 metal is 0 0.1 yeah good and guys now go to one render setting guys my animation is finished i like cycle render device gpu check and denoise and guys go to on film and transparent and color management i like standard so guys all is good and guys guys now go to on world here and i apply environment texture so guys you can download this environment texture i give you link in description so select sky texture and 0 0.8 is good and guys click on here yeah great and wireframe check yes okay so guys select this here and guys go to our visibility and shadow catcher yeah great see guys that's my really cool animation cool effect and guys now this time i apply simple sunlight so guys go to on here up and rotate so guys see that's my rotation change 
and guys go to on here strength is good angle like a 20 press 0 so guys click on here render preview yeah see guys that's my really smooth shadow okay so guys next one my animation is finished and guys now i apply some objects like a hot air balloon so guys you can download this hot air balloon link in description so pan and guys select and guys collection check yeah see guys that's my hot air balloon okay so guys scale size change and go to one back press zero and guys up like this go to one here and smaller yes guys it's good and press zero okay so guys all is good and now guys go to a back so guys select this hot air balloon position and position i change this one location yeah this location this one and like a minus 3.5 enter and check and guys go to a last 350 and guys you can increase more frame is dependent on your work so up like a five and check yeah that's it guys right okay so guys now also rotation change so guys go to a back zero guys i create rotation little bit like a 15 check yeah that's it guys right okay see guys that's my simple hot air balloon animation and second one folding cloth animation right and guys click on here final render preview okay so guys okay so guys my texture is missing so guys you can apply texture so go to one shading select this one guys apply texture is simple so desktop like this yeah see guys that's my simple texture guys you can apply one by one texture and guys go to one here like two and this one and guys apply third texture select this one and fourth texture like this yeah right simple right. okay so guys go to one render setting and frame rate are like 30 fps and output so guys go to a desktop and create new folder like a random one and take any file name and accept check and guys all is good so guys press zero and guys i show you my one frame render one frame actually guys i change also render setting and guys go to on here guys i like one to eight is good for me and render and render image check okay so guys my one frame render is finished and now guys close so go to on compositing and check so guys go to on here made one press shift a and viewer and guys next one same alpha over mid and guys i use image so guys i apply same image on background so select and guys now select first one and second one and guys alpha over connect to image yeah and press v yes see guys that's my really cool composition and one more time layout so guys my work is finished and now go to one back so guys render and render animation check okay so guys my work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you